out here on the YZ 450 FX beast, baby. But you know what, guys? I see a lot of you supermoto riders out here riding with dirt helmets and goggles. And I, I want to in this video, I want to talk about goggles versus a shield on your dual sport or supermoto. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today i did a video top five stupid crap that uh supermoto riders do <laughs> before i was a supermoto rider but i still had love for supermoto riders and uh you know i I made fun of them and I said that, you know, they, they wear the dirt bike helmets, goggles, but yet they ride street only. It's like, why the hell are you trying to perpetrate the dirt look out here on the street? That don't make no sense, man. You could just rock a regular, uh, you know, motorcycle helmet or, you know, whatever, dual sport helmet with the shield. I just never understood why people wear goggles out here on the street i did it one time i wore goggles out here uh, with my wr250r and i don't like it because it, it messes it obstructs some of your peripheral vision we're on the highway here just testing these goggles out and i don't like that man i like to have the full viewing angle now i know a lot of you guys you know you do some urban foolery like i do like riding off into the woods and stuff on your supermoto but a lot of you don't and if you do you do little light stuff so really it's unnecessary to wear them goggles. You're gonna need that peripheral vision. You need all the vision you can get out here on the streets, man. Um, so I, I think it's really a safety issue wearing those out here on the street. But I know a lot of you guys, you know, you wear some of these dual sport helmets and they fog up, you know, with the shield. But I tell you guys, if you get a Suwami MX Tour like this helmet, which I think is the best dual sport helmet out here on the market man the thing flows a ton of air and it it never fogs up i ride you know i you see i ride off doing urban fookery out, here, fookery out here in the woods and you don't see me complaining man i don't have any fogging issues but i don't you know even when if i go to the dirt track i don't even want to wear goggles i hate wearing goggles man i just hate wearing goggles <laughs> instant smiles instant smiles <laughs> i love it baby i love it i love it it's time to go do some urban fukure some urban fukure but i tell you like i said i can understand why you guys do it so you know i because even with street bike helmets some of them fog up but you have to know what what helmet to get to avoid it man you know what i'm saying and this Suwami, I ride this with my sport bike. It doesn't catch wind on the highway or nothing, man. <laughs> Some urban fookery out here. Gotta have fun, baby. I tell you, sport bikes can't do that. <laughs> Smiling like a mofo out here. Having a good old time on my rocket-powered dirt uh, mountain bike. <laughs> Woo! Good times, good times. But uh, yeah, the the, uh, the shield, man. I, I like this. Like I said, if I hit the dirt track and pull, and I put this bike back in the dirt bike mode, and I hit the dirt track, I'm just gonna rock the shield, man, because it doesn't fog up. It flows a ton of air. This helmet, I get full vision, and I'm not irritated by goggles. And we'll see how it works out. I don't know, but it should be an issue. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this thing cooks, man. Mm. Oh, sh this thing cooks. I'm tired. I keep saying that. I know you guys probably are like, man, dude, that's all you say when you're on this bike. <laughs> I want to hear your feedback on it, man. What do you think? Like, why do you rock those goggles out here on the street? I just don't understand it in supermoto trim, man. You know what I'm saying? You trying to look the part out here? Or what, man? You just get your dual sport helmet and rock the shield, baby. 
like the Suami MX Tour. By the way, I'll include a link in the description and comment section of this video to where you can get this helmet. Hey, soon I'll be reviewing the Rye XD4 Dual Sport helmet and a pair of lithium powered heated gloves for this cold winter riding. And of course, all my other gear and stuff is in the description and comment section of my video. I'll tell you guys that uh, I love this helmet, man. I love it even in the winter time. It, there's no there's no vents on this helmet so you can't in the winter time you get a lot of cold air but I just love this helmet so because I also could put a camera in the peak and uh, I love that man being able because this is my uh, my uh, bl uh, black box helmet Woo! <laughs> good times let's get some slide action up in here Yeah, baby. Good times, baby. Woo! Good times. <laughs> this bike is a hoot. It's a hoot, I tell you, man, a hoot. And if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos. There's a bunch of playlists with over like 1,200 plus videos categorized into those uh, playlists to make it easier for you to navigate and find what you're looking for. Hey guys, hit thumbs up, share this video, comment, let's talk about it. That's why I do these videos in site community discussion. We can all learn together have fun talking about motorcycles and stuff and that's what my channel is all about baby and also getting uh, people out there motivated to ride a motorcycle but anyways don't forget to subscribe to my all one motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel look at moto it showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists, one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.